Hi, my name is Johanna, and these are my teammates, Chloe and Sam, and we are the genius minds behind Deco. What is Deco? Imagine you just moved to your new apartment and you're shopping for all your furniture online. First, you buy a beautiful red couch, then you buy a lovely antique table lamp, and finally, you buy a $2,000 oak chest. But oh no, it clashes with your floor. What could you have done to prevent the situation? That's where Deco comes in. Deco is an augmented reality app that uses your phone's camera to preview furniture online. And now Chloe will show you how it works. Um, Deco is a mobile application built for iOS using the Ionic 2 framework, which is still in beta. When you first open the app, you'll see instructions on how to use Deco. Um, first, you place a physical marker on the floor. When the camera recognizes the marker, a life-size 3D model will appear on top of it. In our app, you can rotate the 3D model, look at it from different angles, and take screenshots which you can share on Facebook and save for later while you plan your dream home. All of the products we currently have available on Deco are 3D models which we got from Sketchfab, but imagine that they are products from all of your favorite online furniture stores like IKEA. Um, you can sort the products by category. We have vases, beds, chairs, but let's take a look at one of them. Uh, here we have this beautiful Japanese antique face. When you first look at the product, you'll see that we have implemented Sketchfab's 3D model preview API, which lets you rotate the 3D model. And if you happen to have Google Cardboard glasses, you can also look at the model in virtual reality. When the user clicks Experience in AR, um, the Wiki2 Cordova platform will open a live camera feed which will um, analyze the image and look for the designated marker. And now Sam will tell you more about Deco. Thank you, Chloe. Now, as you can see how easy it is to use our phone app, I will show you another, my favorite example in our catalog, which is the beanbag chair. The beanbag chair, when I look at my, uh, it opens up in the browse tab. And then when I click on the experience in AR view, uh, it launch the wiki to the plugin. When you point the camera to the marker, the beanbag chair will show up and look so real that you want to touch it. If you like this beanbag chair, you can add it to the wish list. Here, I will add it to the dream, ro dream room wish list. After I click OK, it will automatically save to uh, the online database. So when I go to the dream room wish list, I can view the beanbag chair is already there. Also, I can create a new wish list if there is no wish list existing in the database. So here, I will create a beach house database uh, wish list. After I uh, create it, I can also look at the likes page. That likes page shows a list of items that I previously clicked liked. So now I will hand it to Johanna, who will talk about the systems we used. Thank you, Sam. Um, to do our front end, we used Ionic 2 and Angular 2, and that posed our biggest technical challenge because both are so new. The latest release of Angular 2 was only two weeks before we started our project. For our server, we used Heroku. And for the augmented reality features, we used two plugins, the Wikitude Cordova API, which analyzes a live camera feed for a target image, and the JavaScript API, which will render the 3D models and control them. Um, thank you, Wikitude, for gi giving us a license to use your software, and thank you all for watching our presentation.